So we know that meme coins are all around us. We know that people are investing into them. And in actuality, they really are gambling because it is just a pretty massive gamble. But as long as we understand that, we can understand that this is something that we could potentially get into. And based on that, we just did a video recently where we took a look at Blub, which is a meme coin on Sui. And I showed you how to do a, a very simple and easy way and safe way to buy specific digital assets across the whole spectrum of centralized exchanges and decentralized exchanges. Now, my portfolio personally is extremely heavy uh, Bitcoin and layer ones. This is my retirement account, my Roth IRA with iTrust. I have Bitcoin, Ethereum, Sol, ton gold and silver, but you'll see that between three and 5% of my portfolio right now are meme coins. Now I will be trading that within my Roth IRA because it is a tax exempt type of account. That's what that's the beauty of a Roth IRA. And my regular portfolio, not my retirement account, is also extremely heavy on Bitcoin and layer ones. But if we know that meme cards are around and we understand it is gambling, well, what about just putting a little percentage of our portfolio just to have a little fun? And this is DOG. And it is uh, stated as, and I believe this is true actually, number one meme coin on Bitcoin. Now, you know that my portfolio is heavy uh, Bitcoin. And I know that meme coins are on the corners. So why don't I just combine the both worlds and just say, well, I'm gonna meme coins, at least one will be on Bitcoin. And this, is, this was actually one that I actually had an airdrop because I bought a couple of different rune stones. And when you bought these uh, rune stones, which is on runes, almost like ordinals, a little different, we'll get into that in a little bit, but you were actually airdrop dog go to moon and a couple other coins, which really didn't do too well, but dog go to moon actually did. And just so you know, the entire supply of dog was strategically an airdropped, holders of runes that we talked about. Within just 24 hours of its launch, dog achieved a market cap of half a billion dollars. What I like about this is that there's no pre-sale. You're not paying KOLs to talk about it. There's no insiders. You didn't do a paid promo. You don't get whales. It's 100% distributed, blah, blah, blah. Everything's going good, right? And just so you know, uh, you are early if uh, you decide to take a look at this even uh, heavier. This just came about on April of 2024. Right now, we are closing out October. It actually has been uh, a little bit of an October. I think we're up 7 or 8% of 2024. So this was just five months ago. And in that span of time, it's actually only at the place of 160 by market cap. What does that mean? It means that you're not at number 10. You're not at number 20. You're pretty far down. So as you go down farther on the market cap, the more risky it is, but there is potential upside. That's usually how it works. And what you'll notice is that total supply and max supply are the exact same thing as the circulating supply. So there is no unlocks. There are no whales. There are no VCs holding so they can dump on you. It's out there for everybody and it's a free and essentially fair market. So the question then is like, well, why even get into this? Because this doesn't sound good because a lot of people talk about how awful these are. But look, nobody gets it right in the beginning. I've talked about this before. Michael Saylor in 2013 says, hey, Bitcoin days are numbered. It's going to fail. And then, of course, we know he became a pretty big, a somewhat, some would call a Bitcoin maxi. And he also said the same thing at Ordinals. In July 3rd, 2023, he said, look, Ordinals are like really awful sawdust donuts, a very stupid idea. And then in May 2024, he says, you know what? Uh, we got plans for a Bitcoin-based decentralized or DID using Ordinal. So now everybody gets it right in the beginning. I didn't really see the whole point of uh, meme coins or ordinals or runes, but sure, I can see it here. And then the difference between the two is runes are optimized for non-fungible ability, providing features and capabilities that make it easier to mint, transfer, and trade. Ordinals can be used to manage unique items, primary sync lines, the versatility. And again, dog go to the moon, circling supply, total supply, and max supply are the exact same. So how do you buy this? Because it seems pretty easy, right? Just let me go to a centralized exchange and buy it. It doesn't work like that. Remember we talked about with runes, when you bought the rune stones and you got airdropped, you got a certain specific amount of dog go to moon. You can't just buy an individual one. They're at blocks that you have to buy. And this confused me in the beginning. But to make this super simple, this is how, I, this is the easiest way you can possibly buy these. So you're gonna go to experts.app. Links in the description. This is one I personally use. I'm gonna open mine up. I got 6,500 bucks on this one. I got uh, 0 0.03 of Bitcoin. I have no stacks. And here was my airdrop. I had uh, 889,000 dog to moon, which were worth 4,000. Who knows what it'll be worth uh, during the bull run? And that was free money. 
essentially. That was free tokens. I'm very happy. Everybody's good. So how do I buy this? Well, you can go to these different DEXs and things like that, but just to make this simple, do it in the wallet. You're going to click on swap. You're going to select an asset. Now, I've tried this with Lobo the Wolf and other stuff. It doesn't go through. Maybe you stacks it would, but if I got Bitcoin, great. From Bitcoin to dog go to the moon. And then the amount. Well, I got 0 0.03. Let's just do 0 0.03 just to make this simple. And we're going to get quotes. When we get quotes, there's going to be good ones and not so good ones. So like over here, it's got Unisat and OKX. It's 6.74 per sats. That's the floor price. But you just go to the recommended or best, like Magic Eden's pretty good. It's 6.3 sats <clears throat> per dog with moon. So I'm going to click on that. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to take you to where it's going to give you the best prices. So right here, you got 6.5 sats. And you'll notice that, like I said, <clears throat> they come in bulks. They don't come in like one dog with the moon or 10. It's like 800,000. Just like how I got airdropped, that's how people are selling them. So depending on what you're looking for and how much you want to actually spend, you got to just say, well, I don't have uh, 0, 0.0. What is this one? Like 0 0.039. I don't have that. I only have 0 0.03. So I got to find where, where it is and go, oh, here's one, 155,000 for 0 0.01 Bitcoin at 6.65 sats. And you'll notice that, yes, the price goes up as you are buying less dog or moon, but that's essentially it. Click next. And if you wanted to go through this, you'd click swap. But that's essentially it. That's how you buy dog go to the moon. This is why I have invested into it. That's it for today. So look, like today's video, give it a thumbs up. So you're subscribing, everything to talk about is time sensitive. That's it for today. Thanks so much for stopping by. I appreciate you. And I'll see you on the next one.